Hi everyone, this is David from Benchmark. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a new group code in Microsurvey Field Genius 10. To do this, I'm going to use the MESA 2, our Windows 10 rugged tablet. The first thing I'm going to want to do is go to the main menu and click on Measure Modes, and then I'm going to click on Group Code. That will open up whichever group code I had open last. For me, it was this Utilities one. And in the bottom left, I'm just going to click on the Wrench button. That will open up my Group Code Editor. Now in here, I can edit any codes. I can change if something is just points or line work, curved line work. I can change the patterning, or I can switch the group code I'm using. What I'm going to do for this case, I'm just going to hit New under the Active Group, and that will bring up my new group code menu right here. So I'm just going to give it a name quickly. I'll call mine Cross Section for this video. And then if I have a similar group, I can bring in the items for that group and make any changes needed rather than make an entirely new one from scratch. Then I'm just going to hit OK. That'll bring me back to the group code editor. But as you can see here, all our codes on the right have disappeared and we have the new group we just created under the active group. So we have a totally fresh slate here. So I'm going to click add code and then I'm going to click on list. And this will bring up my auto map library. If I already have a ton of descriptions in the project, they'll all show up here. So I can choose from existing descriptions. I didn't bring any in, so I'm just going to create a bunch of new ones here. So I'll type in the description. I'll put this one as the edge of the sidewalk. And then I will click the check mark. And it will ask me if I want to add it to the project. Yes. Then I can choose which kind of line work it is right here. I'll make mine a curved line. Then I'll just go through and make a few other codes. So once I've got all my codes in the group, I can either change the order they're in or I can change the pattern on the bottom left. Now, since I'm doing a cross section, I'm going to keep mine as left, right, left so that I can cross the street one way, walk down, cross the street the other way. But if I was going to do something else or I just wanted to be able to select which description each point had and do point work instead of line work, I would give it no pattern. Now that that's all done, I'll just click on the OK button. And that'll bring me back to my map screen. And you can see right along the bottom here, I have the different codes I put in my group code and I can change to use whichever one I want to use. That's all for today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit our website at www.bench-mark.ca. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.